Right now in this application, the Festo AX software is taking the data from Festo devices that are underneath this lower deck here. We'll use the sensors that are already in the process, already in the machine. Right now it's doing a leakage detection process and we can tell what step it's in and what mode is running right now. The VTEM is doing a leakage detection app, which is app 12. We can tell that by looking at the dashboards that were created using Node-RED. See the health index, this is a global overall health score which is increasing because now the timing I think of the VTEM access is now running properly. And you see right now the overall health score is 100% on the machine. So this is a global health value. And if we come back to the AX dashboards, all that data is coming from AX AI software. We should start to see a degradation in some of these performance values because now the system is going to detect an anomaly in the, in the pressure train and the signature response of the pressure signal. But as the signal changes and the anomaly will start to show up on this frequency response, Festo AX will detect that and start to present to the user and provide data that's showing now that there's an anomaly, subtle as it is, on the frequency response and then the health will start to decrease. The overall machine health will start to decrease. This data is, is, there's a buffer for this data that it's at 256 data points, it's captured at maybe once a second, that has to start to fill up with bad data first so it could detect the anomaly. And as this is happening here, we'll then start to see changes in this and that'll be detected by SOAX. The other values on this dashboard, we're just showing here the flow rate of the E2M and the pressure of the E2M as it's happening. Effectively are also the health scores for pressure and flow. To see a dramatic increase in that, there is a flow valve here that I could create a leakage. As I could create a leakage here, you can start to, you could barely hear it, but you see already that the pressure health is starting to decline and the flow rate health, and because this is not a normal leakage for the system. There's going to be a pressure drop from the leak and there's going to be excess flow, and the system is starting to detect that. As I turn it off, this should start to recover. 